What's up guys? We are here in Crunch Fitness in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm here for the official Strongman Games, but obviously as you know, the work never stops. Grind, keep, gotta keep going. So today I'm gonna hit a little bit of back squats. I'm gonna do a little bit of legs and then I'm gonna follow that up with some chest and some triceps. This is gonna be the outside of the shoulder pressing that I did the other day. This is gonna be the first time where I'm using my arm since surgery. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Um, if it feels good, I think the maximum that I'll go to is like 275, 225 to 275, somewhere around there. Just uh, feeling it out, giving myself a little bit of a push, but not pushing myself to rupturing it again. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's really hot in here too, so we're going to get a really good sweat going. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. That was fun. 675 for eight on a whippy as shit bar. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Not bad. Slightly above parallel box. Fuck it. I'm happy that I'm not feeling any pain in my knees. That's pretty fucking cool. So uh, yeah, now we're on the bench.
bench feels good. Um, definitely feel the uh, the muscle fatigue faster in my right. Obviously, I haven't really been able to use my right arm for about six weeks, so um, to be expected. I got a little bit of tennis elbow going on too, but again, to be expected. Today, I'm not gonna push it too hard. 275, depending on how it feels, I might go to 315 and call it there. I might leave it at 275. I'm gonna be smart about it, obviously. I'm not trying to hurt myself again, especially on fucking bench. But yeah, so far so good. on the bench for a set of 15 felt strong felt easy strength definitely wasn't the issue I still maintained a lot of that um, no discomfort no tendonitis no aches or pains in my elbows biceps shoulder anything like that super happy and pleased with that I'm gonna leave it there because uh, uh, I don't want to push too hard it's the first week back of using it and I don't need to I don't need to go heavy on bro lifts or anything like that so I'm just gonna leave it but good squat Good bench, I'm gonna get some good accessories in for legs and chest and triceps. Finish up with uh, some combined ladder drills and that'll be, that'll be it. I just wanted to say real quick, while I'm here in Daytona Beach, Florida, I'm at the Crunch Fitness. I met these two fine young gentlemen when I was deadlifting yesterday. I want you guys to leave in the comments, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys at the very end of the video, how old do you think these guys are? Taking into account the proper diet and consistent hard work in the gym, you guys can look like this and you start getting up here. So leave a comment down below and guess how old these guys are.
All right, so we just crushed uh, squats. We did a little bit of bench. We did some accessories for all of our stuff. Now we're gonna finish off some cardio. It's one of my personal favorites and at the exact same time, something that I hate doing so, so much because it humbles you and no matter how in shape you are, you're gonna be finished with this completely out of breath. So what we'll do, we'll do speed ladder, footwork, and we're gonna slow through the line. A uh, couple of different variations that I like to do. It just helps keep my footwork fast for moving events like yoke, um, uh, farmer's frame, moving events like sandbag carries and all that good stuff. This is a really good way to work on your foot speed. So. All right, so that was another exciting edition of training at a commercial gym. <laughs> Again, Crunch Fitness, Daytona Beach. We're here for the official Strongman Games, which starts tomorrow. I'm really excited. World Championships for all the weight class athletes. The top three in the open men get invited to come do Giants Live with us. So that's pretty exciting to see some new competitors. Um, yeah, squat went good. Bench felt fantastic. I was very conservative. Did 315 for a set of 15. Decided to leave it there, not push it too hard. Did all of our accessories and even did this god awful ladder conditioning <laughs> that I love and hate at the exact same time. So, all right, if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and welcome to the T Rex Kingdom. See you in the next one, guys.